Hello DJI fans, my name is Karina. Welcome to DJI Mavic Air Tutorials. In this episode, we're going to do our first maiden flight. We're going to go over three basic points. Number one, how to connect your remote to your Mavic Air. Number two, how to connect your phone to your Mavic Air via Wi-Fi. And number three, how to take off and operate your Mavic Air. Let's first prep our Mavic Air by removing the gimbal cover and unfolding the arms. Don't forget to also unfold the landing gear with antennas built in on the front so you have enough ground clearance for your gimbal. You'll also get much better video signal. If you're flying indoors or are a beginner, we also recommend mounting the propeller guards just in case. Assemble the propeller guards first and then install them. Snap them together like this. And make sure you have the right side and the left side. RF for right front and RR for right rear. You can also look for the forward facing arrow indicators to help you with the orientation of the prop guards. Then line up the circles here under the propellers and snap the arms over until they click. Now, let's show you how to replace the propellers. This will also familiarize you with how the spring-loaded quick release works in case you need to replace a prop in the field. Push down on the propeller and turn it in the opposite direction of the lock arrow. There should be corresponding marked and unmarked propellers and motors. Let's unfold the remote and install the control sticks that are stowed inside the grips. Remember, for optimum transmission range, the flat part of your antennas should be facing the aircraft. So for example, if you're flying directly overhead vertically, the antennas are best positioned horizontally. If you're flying further away horizontally, vertically placed antennas will perform better. And always remember to keep these parallel to each other so you get the maximum gain possible. Now let's make sure you've installed the latest DJI GO 4 app and connect your smartphone to the Mavic Air remote using the cable on the left side Depending on your phone type, there are USB cables included. Right now we've got a lightning in here. Strap it in, and let's turn on the remote and the Mavic Air by pressing once, and pressing again and holding. So let's turn the aircraft on also. Press once, press again, and hold to turn it on. Okay, let's enter the DJI GO 4 app. Select Mavic Air from the list of devices, and enter the application. Once inside, you should already see the live feed. Let's first arm the motors by doing the combination stick command by pulling down and in. Now the motors are idling. And let's slowly take off by pushing the left stick up. Remember, go slowly. Always remember, if anything happens, you can just let go of the sticks and the aircraft should hold its position. So as you can see, the left stick controls the altitude. Now moving the left stick left and right controls the heading or yaw. So this rotates the direction of the aircraft is pointed on the same vertical axis. The right stick controls the forward and backward movement and the left and right movement. Remember, this is different than the heading or yaw control. To switch to Wi-Fi mode, press and hold the white rear button for four seconds, making sure you hear only two beeps. Join the Wi-Fi network that the aircraft is broadcasting and enter the DJI GO app. You can find the aircraft's password both on the side of your aircraft and on the battery bay. Once in there, you will have the same basic controls. You can go to the general settings to change your SSID and password if you like. If you forget your password, you can reset it by pressing the rear white button on the aircraft. You will hear three beeps. With the smartphone, you can select auto takeoff and auto landing to make flying the aircraft easier. The aircraft will automatically take off and hover. This is also available during remote operation. You can then press on either side of the smartphone screen and joysticks will appear. Just like the remote, the controls will be the same. Now, if you want to record video from the camera, press this button on the Go app, or if you're using the remote, you can use this button. For photo, switch into photo mode on your smartphone and press the white button, or simply use this button on the remote. To return to remote mode, plus the white rear button for two seconds. Then you will have to rebind the remote to the aircraft. How will you fly your Mavic Air? With the remote or just with your smartphone? Let us know in the comments section below and we'll see you on the next one.